your your candidate's case was struck out uh, for lacking merit. Why did Badebo Rhodes Viva approach the tribunal on his own? Not together with the party okay. like others did, yeah. Well, because this is not really about the party, it's about the election itself and who is qualified to be declared as um, the winner of the election under our constitution. That's really the, it's a very narrow issue. So let's look at the the uh, appeal now. What are the grounds uh, found in the notice of appeal or contain in the notice of appeal? Uh, the principal grounds which are laid out there is primarily that under the constitution of Nigeria, uh, the deputy governor Hamzat is disqualified from standing as for the election and his disqualification disqualifies Songwolo as well from being governor because it's a joint ticket. Okay. W w what, because what, like I yeah. said, mm -hmm. the principal issue is that Hamzat has pledged allegiance to a foreign country, namely the United States of America. And under our constitution, there's a clear provision that you cannot be the president, the vice president, or the governor or deputy governor of a state if you have pledged allegiance to such a country. Now, this is very distinct from the issue of dual citizenship. It's for these two unique offices. And this is a ruling that the courts have to rule on. And to show the significance of this, if you bear with me, I'd like to take one minute to read out this oath of allegiance, which uh, Mr. Hamzat had actually pledged. Okay. Did, hereby read. Hold on, hold on. Um, when you say he had actually okay. pledged, we have to remind you, Rex, that you were in there. Um, so you, I think the best okay. way to, pu to put it, you were in there, he, he didn't send you an invite, <laughs> you know. Um, so I think, I, yeah, I think the best way to put it would be, I this your is, point. Yeah, this is the oath of allegiance that is usually read uh, by uh, people who are given U.S. citizenship. I stand corrected. Okay, yes, this you. is the oath of allegiance, which anyone is free to Google for the process to becoming a United States citizen. And it's here by states. So you have to imagine this is the president of your country or the governor or the chief security officer of your state who has read this is under this oath. It says, I hereby declare an oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state of sovereignty of whom I have heretofore been a subject or citizen that I will support and defend the constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, okay. that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law. All right, we don't have all time. We don't have all day. I, I think people can it's Google just it. Just one more minute. Okay, no, we, okay so yeah. the point is, you have someone who by oath has basically pledged to betray Nigeria or South Africa. Well, well, Rex, you know the thing is, is I think you took my no, I'm not correction. Allergic. I'm saying yeah. hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, but, but but I have, I have for okay. benefit of those who may not have the kind of legal mind that you and I have, I have to point out mm -hmm. to our listeners that this is not the oath that Obafemi Hamzat um, took because we were not there. Rex, you were in there. But this is from, no, no, no. We're not saying. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, I know. You agree. I'm just for the for our listeners. Now, I'm just letting. No, no. Know. But when you say this is not the oath he took, that's not correct. You're saying we don't know. We haven't established that this is a very oath he took. Yes, that's what you're I'm saying. saying. There's the that there's a remote chance that there might be something else in the oath. No, he took, no, no, no. And no, that's no. for a court to decide. Yes, but what I, what I'm trying to point out for both of our listeners, because this is you are giving us the the details of the appeal you filed, okay, which is. This is the same thing you took in your petition to the GEPT, you know. So what I'm just trying to let our listeners know, that some people don't go and say, oh, the head on Nigeria Info was in the news, that we read it in the news. No, it can happen that uh, we announced that the Buffalo Hounds had swore that he's going to take up arms against, you know, Nigeria. But this is what you Googled to find out okay. what is the content of the oath of allegiance sworn by people who get U.S. citizenship. You Googled it. But for listeners who are listening, uh, I guess it's not saying that he has the exact oath or he was there or recording 
uh, or deposition. <laughs> you know that this world mafia has said. Okay, that, that's it. But um, that, just to point out that. But, but so yes, if I could just yes. jump in there, yeah. this is a little bit more than just googled it. I am likewise. No, but, but, but yeah, but you googled it. I mean, man. that's what you said. Just to be sure, you said so. No, no, I said anyone can Google it. Okay. Because I have undertaken that process personally myself. So okay. I can actually speak to this in my personal capacity. Mm. But like I said, that's not before the court. Mm. So I'm just saying it's a little bit more than just doing I I speaking, I'm speaking for okay. myself. Okay. That this is the oath that I took to become a citizen of the United States. Okay. And unless there's an evidence and why I learned in that, you see there's evidence that this has been renounced, like that sort of citizenship has been renounced. Mm. We have established the prima facie case, okay. submitting Hansard's form himself, where he admits to being a citizen of the United States. And pursuant to that, we are alleging that he has pledged allegiance to another country because that is, uh, like I said, the court can take judicial notice of that because that is sine qua non to becoming a citizen mm. of the United States. And that's what's before the court to decide. Is this, is this, is this a document you have in your hand or this copy? copy of the u.s oath of allegiance is it ad, was it ad admitted as evidence in the uh uh tribunal uh, i have to check the records okay. i think it was admitted as evidence but whether the court took that, i think the issue was whether uh that was the very correct that the question was whether that was the exact oath that hamza took so hmm. you have to understand what the 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 line the court is holding it's acting as if we have to provide the very oath that Hamza took. Okay. And we have argued an appeal that that's for him to provide because no one else was there with him. It's something solely in his preview. We just know what is common knowledge and what is the law under U.S. law. Is it, is it, it, is is law it bound, is it bound to, to provide evidence or is that for the uh, Court of Appeal to decide? That's, for the, oh, that's certainly for the court. We, okay. the, as you know, in court, when you make a case, the body of proof then shifts. All right. So the question is, the court establishes that we've made a prima facie case that this is what should obtain. It's now left for him to show, if possible, mm -hmm. some unique circumstance where that did not apply to him. Okay, R Rex, uh, I just will point out that the court of appeal, the uh, governorship election petition court, uh, through Justice Ashom, declared that. Um, uh, there was lack of evidence to support this claim about uh, Hamzat renouncing his sit Nigerian citizenship and dismissed that. You know, so that's why you well, know you now have to say, hey, uh, Court of Appeal, he must bring that evidence himself. But be before we go, just to the background to what you just said, that's what I'm saying. But before we go, because of time, um, some are asking, why why doesn't Maribo Roads Viva um, take a step back and say, okay, you know what, in the interest of uh, continuity and peace in Lagos State. I will allow someone to focus on development, like like uh, uh, Jimmy Agbaje used to do. Very quickly. Please. Well, like I said, but please let me first clarify that the court hasn't said that there's no evidence he took that. He said the evidence we provided wasn't sufficient to prove that that's the oath he okay. took. So okay. It's, okay. It's, okay. It's, it's okay. slightly different. Thank you. Thank you. And then, so the the question about um, briefly, please. Bad was stepping back. Like I said. This is all about legal state. It's not about um, Badibo's personal ego to be gone. The point is, we believe he was the lawfully, uh, he should have been the lawfully declared um, winner of the election under our laws, and that's not what obtained. So it's almost as if you would be betraying all your supporters if you don't assert that claim, which is a mandate from them. It's not about him personally. It's to the extent that you almost think about it as like the chief security officer is like a general in a battle who leads his troops. And then when they actually have a case to pursue, All right. he's somehow, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure there's a suggestion. Is it for personal reasons or for what? Why would he give up on that mandate, All right. which is not even his R to, to give yeah. up on?